What is happening guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a haul video. It has been a couple months since I've done one. So there are some books that have been piling up here. We've got an absolute, some soft covers, some deluxe editions. Should be fun. Let's get into it. So I just got over having COVID for about a week. Felt pretty crappy, um, had a fever for a few days, and then my throat started acting up. It's still not 100%, but it's, it's manageable at this point. So first up, we have Neil Gaiman's Signal to Noise. I'm just kind of going through my Neil Gaiman stuff of what I haven't read of his. This is about a film director who's dying of cancer. He's kind of trying to get his final work out there. Looks pretty cool. Teaming up with Dave McKean here. Some interesting looking artwork for sure. So next up we have, of course, Ice Cream Man Deluxe Edition Volume 1. I've already done a full review on this. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it at the end of this video. All right, so next up we have Absolute Watchmen here. I ended up picking up for like 40 bucks, so really can't go wrong uh, with that. Now, this is a 2005 printing. This is a pretty early copy. I'm not sure when they started making these, uh, but it does have this pleather exterior. I'm not sure if new copies still have this uh, imitation leather. Um, you guys let me know um, if yours still does. I remember seeing newer copies. I think that had a matte finish, but I'm not entirely sure. So you guys let me know. Um, the binding is holding up very well. There's some glue going on here uh, that seems to be leaking out but it is holding together very well so next up we have the haunt of fear volume 2 this is the reprint uh the paperbacks which they are reprinting uh tales from the crypt haunt of fear the vault of horror these are really some of the best horror stories i talk about these often as well if you have not checked these out already do yourself a favor Next up, we have the Yudorovsky Library Collection, book number three. I've already done a full review on this, so if you want to see that, make sure to check my most recent videos. Uh, this book is pretty much a compilation of different stories. They are prequels and sequels to some of Yudorovsky's most um, notable works, like The Inkle and The Meta Barons. So I highly suggest uh, you go read those books first before jumping into this. Um, but other than that, it was I was quite impressed and uh, look forward to uh, book number four, which should be coming out shortly. So next up, we have Spawn Compendium Volume 3. What happened was I ordered it from Amazon. I pre-ordered it actually because it was on sale. It came to me uh, pretty smashed up. I returned it. They sent me another copy also smashed up. I had to return that one as well. So I ended up just returning the second copy and... Uh, receiving a refund. Um, I don't want to continue on further with too many Amazon purchases. Um, I did end up reading it in its entirety, which was pretty nice, but uh, it is a book that I do want for the shelf. So eventually, somehow, one way or another, I will find another copy. So next up, we have Berserk Volume 11. This is the most recent volume. And we have Blade of the Immortal Volume 6, also the most recent volume. I did have these series in paperback at one point, but I decided to sell those off and um, upgrade to these deluxe editions because these are just so goddamn awesome. I really hope that Dark Horse continues to release series in this format because let's face it, they are just really, really awesome. I really hope that Lone Wolf and Cub gets that deluxe edition treatment because I mean, look how incredibly tiny this thing is. It's quite difficult to read. Um, and for everyone's sake, um, this series is hard to come by now. It's quite expensive. So it's, it's time for a re-release. I think it's one of my uh, most favorite manga of all time. So that is all I have for you guys for this video. Until next time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and take care.